Overall, the tests show for the first time the critical impact of such conditions on the functioning of the central executive. We see a reduction in speed of information processing. We see a reduction in ability to abstract and verbal fluency. And we see an increase in suggestibility. All those would suggest a deterioration in the functioning of the central executive. After two days underground, the subjects are finally released. How's it feel to be out? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. God, I think he'll see this for a while. Emotional. God, it's sunlight. Lovely day, isn't it? Beautiful. So beautiful. To be out. Uh, unbelievable. God, I never thought a nuclear bunker would look so beautiful. It's actually amazing. Is that all the flowers? I didn't. Like, when we arrived, I saw all the ugliness, and now, now I'm seeing all the. I'm hearing the birds. I'm seeing the clouds and the green and the yellow, the, the buttercups. But two days is a, actually an incredibly long time to not see any sunlight, isn't it? It's the longest in my life I've ever gone. That's great. <laughs> oh. Our volunteers were in a sensory deprivation environment for 48 hours and being treated humanely. And if they can have quite marked effects on their memory and concentration, it gives us a great insight into what can happen to people kept in solitary confinement over possibly many months or even years. At a time when the number of people being held in isolation is on the increase, it's a thought-provoking conclusion.